Let us solve more problems related to Nikilam method of division where the base is greater than divisor. A particular problem that I want to share with you which will solve more concepts for us is going to be 147 divided by 7. So let's just try to solve this using Nikilam method. So first of all we will have to find out the supplement divisor and the supplement divisor is going to be 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. Now the first thing that we do is we create three parts of the page. We write our divisor 7 on the left hand side and below that we write the supplement divisor as 3. Now we will write 147 like this 1, 4 and 7 because the rightmost part gets only one digit because the base that we have chosen has only one zero in it. Now let's put this horizontal line here and then bring this one down and then we'll multiply this one by three. So what we're doing here one times three we will write the result below four and the result is seven. Now we will again use this seven and multiply with three. So let's multiply seven with the three and we get 21. We write this result here like this and the result we get is 28 and we already know that we cannot have two digits in the last column so we will cancel this two out from here and we will write two here and now because we have gotten this two in the central part we will again multiply this two with the supplement divisor three so two times three which is six we will write the result here on the right hand side and on the right hand side we get 14 and on the central part we get 19 again this 14 is two digit number so we cannot have this one and we have to move this to the central part and because now we have got one as a new member in the central part we will have to multiply this one with three again so we get one times three is equal to three and on the right hand side we have seven as a remainder and 20 on the central part we can see that the remainder is seven we can see that seven is equal to the divisor we still need to divide that by 7. Now because we are stuck in a problem like this, there is something called complement of the remainder. Now how we can find this complement of the remainder? We write this 7 that we've got as 0 and 7 and then we think about the base. We borrow 1 from the left hand side and subtract 7 from the base. The base is going to be 10. So we write 1 below this dotted 0 and once we subtract that 7 from 10 we get 3 but we put a sign like this a small cap on the head of 3 which also means minus 3. So you could also read this as 10 minus 3 basically. So we are writing this 7 as 13 with a negative sign for 3. So basically it is 10 minus 3. So we just replace that 7 with something like this which is this and now we can again continue cancelling this one out putting it on the central part and then multiplying this one with the supplement divisor which is 3 again and this gives me 3 as a result and I write the result on the right hand side and so the remainder that I get finally because the capped 3 is minus 3 we get 0 as a remainder and 21 as the quotient. So that's why here quotient is 21 and remainder is, is 0.